robotic heart surgery again is not something that is new. If you look at the West, robotic heart surgery has been going on for a decade now. And there are centers which have done 2,000, 3,000 procedures. So practically across the globe, more than 10,000 robotic heart operations have already happened. India is really late in catching up. Again, I must say that it's not one individual's effort here, it's a team effort. There are many hands and minds that need to come together for us to be able to do robotic heart surgery. So apart from you know the organization providing the support to do this, many members of my team contributing to do this, many people have to come together, referral physicians and patients also, who have to come here and accept this kind of a procedure. And only one arms, this is the instrument. And these instruments are eight millimeters you know, in width or diameter. So these go to the chest exactly like you see here. They go to the chest wall and inside yeah, these are the same kind of instruments we use in open surgery, the tips of these. So with these we do the surgery inside. And when you go through these, through these pores, we don't cut any bone. So damage to tissue, damage to chest wall and damage to bone are all avoided. When you do surgery like this, patients, you know, it's, 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 it's you know, very, very common sense basically. Patients heal very fast. There's simply no chance that they get infected. And because the damage is so little, there is no blood loss as well. Now, this is being done in one center. And currently we have not started our training program, apart from the surgeons who are being inside. Actually, there is another colleague of mine who is also a surgeon, who is also a heart surgeon, who also participates in this and who also does this. So we are now two surgeons working in one place and another surgeon in Chennai, Apollo. He has also started doing this now. And we are looking at, you know, training every three months. We are going to have a training program with visitors coming from across the country whom we are going to teach how to do this. So if we continue to do this this way, I am expecting that probably in another three or four years, you will have multiple centers across the country that are capable of doing it. There is one center that is going to start in Delhi and they have been asking me to fly and because of COVID we have been reluctant. We are going to start flying to Delhi and start operating there. There are other colleagues in uh, Lucknow and other cities who are also asking help so we are going to go and train multiple surgeons to do the same procedure like it's being done here. So I am thinking that, you know, if this goes as we plan, probably 30% of the patients who are undergoing open surgery today, in the future would have, you know, would be undergoing robotic surgery. It is still a very small number, I know. It takes time to grow. Uh, but it is a good beginning. For this country, it is a very good beginning. This is not a small feat. To achieve 100 robotic heart surgeries, in under 24 months, shows not just skill, adeptness, the faith of the patient, but really this vision to move cardiac surgery to the future. And let me truly assure you that this is the future. Coming from a history and a background of Apollo hospitals, we started heart surgery in the country in 1983. As you know, Apollo hospitals began because Dr. Reddy, our chairman, lost a young man before he had enough time to go abroad for heart surgery, before he could raise enough money for heart surgery. And that was in 1980 that this happened. So then began this whole journey of creating India's first for-profit multi-speciality center, which was built on the lines of international standards, which had every latest equipment. And from then on, from 1983, the journey has continued across heart surgery, but multiple other specialities, neurosciences, orthopedics, uh, oncology, every single area. Now we're looking at stem cell, further research. But in each one of these, we keep on imbibing. Uh, so we keep imbibing what is the latest, what is the best, how can we give, and each one of these pursuits is to what is best for the patient. And truly, minimally is invasive heart surgery, and robotic heart surgery are extremely patient-friendly procedures. And that's what I want you to really take away. But you know, you cannot jump straight into robotic surgery. But be So before we celebrate Dr. Sathikis, and he's the only one in the country who has done 100 heart surgeries, but even more fantastic, he's the only one in the world who has done 1,800 minimally invasive heart surgeries. So you are sitting with two records over here, the only one in the world as a single surgeon, single center with 1,800 minimally invasive heart surgeries 
and now the first one in the country to do 100 robotic surgeries. So, Dr. Sapiki, the country is proud that you returned uh, from Toronto. We, Apollo is proud that you're part of the team and we remain committed to making the journey of heart surgery grow. Uh, Clearly, it is a tremendous milestone that Apollo Hospitals, Banner Gatta and Dr. Satiki have crossed a hundred robotic heart surgeries. This is the first uh, any surgeon has reached in India. So it's a, it's a significant milestone. But I also think that the number of robotic heart surgeries in the world is over 15,000. So India has a long way to go. I think that the number of heart surgeries being done, which is about uh, 250,000 heart surgeries a year, many of them will move to robotic or to minimally invasive surgery. And this is something that Apollo Hospitals has been pioneering. The reason we are pushing for this is that it is uh, less pain for the patient, less trauma, there is no fracturing of bone, there is minimal damage of tissues and therefore there is faster recovery for the patient. So it's a much better procedure and this is really the future. Uh, I also think that at the same time we will be focusing equally on the prevention of heart disease by doing health checkups, we encourage people to have checkups, find the risk factors of heart surgery, of heart uh, ailments, find those early, uh, avert those type of crisis. The second important message. You. We have um, another patient here, Mr. Hegde. Second so important message is also that in a heart attack, so all Apollo hospitals are equipped with a 24 by 7 emergency rooms so that we can do immediate treatment and close clot buster therapy so that if there is a block in the heart vessel that can be removed. So for this reason, the second important message to public is that if you have a chest pain, please move quickly to a hospital, any hospital which is close by, not just Apollo, which has a good emergency room. Therefore, you can save heart muscle. And finally, if you do need heart surgery, uh, study the options and if minimally invasive heart surgery or robotic heart surgery is appropriate for your care, then I think Dr. Satiki is among the best surgeons in the world to help you do that. Thank you. Thank you.